count how many times the letter S appears, and this is where the user is going to type in the, 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 the word or the sentence. So let's start coding this. The first thing I will need to do is to get the value from the edit box. So I'm going to say str equals edt data dot text. I should declare the variable str is of type string. Right. So this is where I get the value from the edit box. Now I want to check each character. So because you want to check each character in the string, now the for loop comes in. So I pressed, I typed in four and I pressed the tab key and that comes up. I changed this from one, one to length of str. Length of str tells me how many characters they are. I then start my begin. The begin is in line with the for loop. And when I press enter, it automatically indents. I now want to check each character. I want to check if str square bracket i is equal to the letter s. We were looking for the letter s. So if STRI equals to the letter S, press enter, begin. Begin is in line with the if, and then I indent. I create a counter. I count, assign the value. I count plus one. This is an accumulator. To initialize it to zero, I need to declare it of type integer. Together, I don't have it. Together with my variable i. i is my loop counter. It's a number. So that needs to be declared. So every time I find stri equal to an s, I accumulate. I don't need an else. I don't need an else. So I only want to check for the letter S. So in this instance, it's just an if statement on its own. When the loop finishes, now I am outside of the loop. I want to now display show message. Number of times the letter R appears. And I want to go int to string, and I want to print I count. So remember, here is where I'm doing my processing. I have this variable I count set to zero, and every time I find a character that start, that has an S. At a certain position, I accumulate, I count, and when the loop finishes, I then print how many they are. Let's just give this a run. Okay, I've got some errors. This is from my previous code. I'm just going to delete that. Let's give it a run. And we find that there's no errors, so let's input uh, a word. Let's enter computer. Computer has R. There's one R. Uh, well, I was meant to count the letter S, right? I was meant to count the letter S. So here, computer, okay, let's not type in computer, let's type in the name Sally that starts with an S. Number of times the letter R appears is one. OK, so this is a little. Let's just correct this. It's causing more confusion. I'm checking for the letter S, but I'm outputting 
R. That makes absolutely no sense. So let's give this a run. And this time I will enter. Uh, let's enter the word Sally again and count. It's picking up that it appears once. How about entering with a small letter S? Karan, what do you think it'll output? Um, depend, depending in your code, if you wrote the S in caps, I don't think it will pick up that S. OK, in my code, you can see here, I do have it in caps. So you think it's going to pick it up or not? I don't think so. OK, let's click on count and you'll see zero. OK, because I'm checking for a capital letter S, but I'm inputting a small letter S. So let's enter. Let's put two S's in this this time round count number of time the letter S appears is two. But how can I fix this so that irrespective of whether it's a capital letter S or a small letter S, it'll work? Mir? Uh, could you put in the if statement uh, the small letter S or the capital? Or and okay, so, so you're saying we can have a second condition. If that or str square bracket i equals a small letter s. So I've got two conditions. And now whether it's a capital letter or a small letter s. It's going to check for both. So let's give this a try. And now when I enter the name Sally, I will put a capital letter S, A, L, L, Y. Let's put another S at the end, which is small letter, and let's see if it picks up two. Number of times S appears is two. So that's the one way of solving it. The second way of solving it, there's another predefined function. There's another predefined function called so now what I'm doing is I'm taking the character STRI, I'm converting it to a capital letter. That's what uppercase does. It converts it into a capital letter and I check it against a capital letter. Right? So let's give this a run. And then let's type this in small letters. And let's see what happens in this case. Let's put two S's in the end. So this is all small letters count. And it picks up three. Let's enter capital letters. Count. It still picks up three. So whether it is capital letter or small letter now, it really doesn't matter because in my code, when I'm checking each character, I convert it to a capital letter and I check it against a capital letter. So that's another nice way of doing it, although you can have a double condition as well, which can work. <laughs> 